Hey babes, I'm Miss Mila Rose and welcome back to my channel. Today I have quite the surprise for you because I have never done this before, but I am basically going to walk you through the entire experience and setup of how I go about filming custom videos from the moment I start getting ready. So yeah, I'm just going to dive right into it and tell you a little bit about how I actually go about doing stuff now because it is a little different than how I used to do things. Also, don't judge me how I do my makeup. <laughs> I do not use um, those sponges, makeup sponges. I don't use like proper equipment. I know that. But yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna deal with what I have here <laughs> and how I do my makeup. So usually how I go about a day of filming is I have a full custom video order list on my computer. So I've already went through the process of messaging people, setting up orders, they place their orders, and they are now pending. So once I have a full list of orders, I'll choose a day to film my custom videos, and I will basically wake up and start getting right to work. Usually I like to minimize my hair damage as much as possible, so I don't want to blow dry it like straight from wet. So I'll usually do some things like I did my nails this morning while I was waiting for my hair to dry after I took a shower. And I'll just do stuff like that so that I can minimize my hair damage. I don't like filming every single day and I don't like doing my makeup every single day. That's why I will usually wait for a full film list day and then I'll just get going from there. Today, I have a very, very complex and interesting list of custom requests. I'm really, really excited to be filming. I have a few different really cool outfits that I'm going to be wearing, as well as uh, some photo sets that I'm going to be taking as well, so that's really cool. So generally, after I'm done showering, I'm waiting for my hair to dry, I usually have some breakfast, or I'll just have a coffee. Lately, I've been drinking Monster, uh, which hasn't happened in a really long time, but I've been doing that a lot again recently. And I will do any scripts that I, I have not actually completely written out, because anytime someone sends me a script, uh, usually it's just a lot, and it's a lot easier for me to go through filming the custom request if I redo their entire script for myself in a notepad, sometimes that means that I have to do an audio script for myself. So I have these wireless earbuds and I'll actually like go through the entire script with myself and record an audio script so I can have this wireless earbud in my ear while I'm filming the custom request. So that way I don't have to memorize massive scripts because it can be really, really complex to film certain customer requests where a customer wants you to say line for line for like 10 to 20 minutes of, of film. It's just a lot and I don't usually like to go through that much of memorization. Uh, if I was, I would definitely be getting paid a lot more like an actual actress rate. <laughs> so uh, to basically minimize their expenses, in my workload. That is how I go about doing massive script requests. It's still a lot of work to be emailing customers, rewriting their script, uh, and going back, the whole back and forth process honestly itself is quite massive and a project on its own. But it is very worth it for genuine customer requests. And once they place their order, you are good to go to film their request. So once I have my script written and my nails are done and I'm waiting for my hair to dry, I will generally go through all of the customs that I am doing for that day. I'll basically grab all of the items, make a list of the items I need for every single one of the requests that I'm going to be doing that day. And I'm going to lay them down somewhere in my office space and just number them usually. Sometimes I get lazy and I won't actually number them. I'll just put them in their appropriate pile on the floor somewhere and when I'm ready to film that particular request, I'll just grab the items, I'll change into my outfit for that custom request, etc., etc. 
I do, sometimes I do get custom requests where I will have the same outfit use in multiple videos or an outfit request is not requested for a particular custom, so I'll just use one of the outfits that I already have pulled out. And that actually saves a lot of time so that I don't have to keep going back and forth between um, changing outfits. Changing outfits is a process on its own and I do not like going through the hassle of that at all. It's a massive, massive project to be constantly changing your outfit while you're filming. So generally when I'm going to do my makeup look, because I usually do do a full look of makeup, generally, I mean I don't always do this, but it is the standard when I'm filming custom requests. I will actually determine what look of makeup I want to use based on the custom videos that I will be filming for the given day. Oh, I'm gonna need to blend this out super heavily. I'm not doing a standard look right now. I'm trying to mix in some like extra detail, which I don't usually do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so sometimes I have to film a lot of femdom style videos or a lot of submissive uh, princessy style videos. So I might do a very pinky glittery look if I'm doing a very submissive princessy type role play. If I am going about more of a femdom gothic style look, I might add in more of a smoky eye with a lot of black. Um, I basically change it up based on the scripts that I have generally. Also during the time that I am collecting my custom items, I'll also go ahead and set up my room so if there's anything laying out on the bed that I have to clean up, I'll do any of the cleanup process. I'll generally like to have my room cleaned up by the end of a film day, but I've been very lazy about that recently, so that has not been happening. Usually I will be cleaning it day of filming my next film day. And then I will also make sure that my lighting is set up to where I want it for the first video that I'm going to be filming. And I'll try and also put my videos back to back where the camera angle is gonna be pretty much the same. It doesn't take too much time to move my camera angles around at all, but it does take up some amount of time and I do try to optimize my time as best as possible when I'm filming my custom requests because I do like to bulk up my days quite heavily. So I really do try to maximize my time the best that I can. So for anyone who has placed custom video orders with me, generally I will have videos. The turnaround will be the day after my film day because I'll have an entire day that I'm filming and then the day after I will be exporting and uploading all of my custom requests. And so if you happen to place your order the day of, sometimes I can get to your video request. Or if you place it the day before, I generally do my filming. You basically fall into that slot where you're going to get your video within like 48 hours. Uh, I'm really, really quick with them in that scenario, but whenever I have customer requests that come in the day after I film or later the evening of that I'm filming, I generally can't get to the custom request until at least a week. That is why I generally say that my standard turnaround is 7 to 10 days. It just depends on when you place your order and also when I can get to a source of internet because for those of you who do not know, I still struggle with obtaining internet. I do go over to Sirens a lot and I'm able to use your internet there, but with the whole COVID thing and the local school being shut down, I can't get high speed internet. The fastest speed I've been able to find over here is 30 megabytes down and right now even that is causing issues so it's slower than it generally would be. I need to go get some baby wipes. <laughs> I'm really loving this glitter palette that I have from Too Faced. It's called 
pretty rich Too Faced. I've been using it for honestly almost two years now and I absolutely love it. I love the glitters for doing video looks because it just looks a little more glamorous and I don't know. I feel like that look for me does well. Getting this table all dirty for the adult industry anyway. I honestly kind of dab into a little bit of everything. I used to be a drugstore girl. I still use some, like my cover up. Always use medicated lip balm because I'm always picking my lips. Yeah, I really do like Too Faced. I have some of their products. I really like their eyeshadows. I have a couple palettes as well as uh, their bronzer. I personally think I have a really big nose, so I really like to contour my nose a lot. I'm loving this NARS concealer that's actually what was recommended to me by the Sephora team. I don't generally go look for my own makeup, honestly, like pretty much everything here except for my makeup palettes themselves were recommended to me by Sephora workers. Um, so I trust their opinion because I'm no makeup guru, but I know that they know a little bit more than I do. So I pick out, you know, I used to, I used Naked Urban Decay for so many years. I'm actually starting to phase out of it. I don't think I want to buy any more of those anymore. I literally just use them for casual looks generally as well as my eyebrows but I think I'm gonna find an alternative for my eyebrows and stop getting the palette and I, I've been really wearing no makeup lately when I go to grocery stores going for walks doing casual stuff so I really only use my makeup for my more professional looks now so I don't really care to have these extra palettes laying around in my in my house like I just don't need it anymore so I'm really phasing out of those, but oh my gosh, I absolutely love the glitter. I actually was recommended the Tasha primer for this palette because they said it would stick a lot better, which I found to be highly accurate. Um, so that's the reason why I have the Tasha. I don't use primer on my face before putting my cover up, and I know that's a big no-no. Uh, I just, I don't feel like I need it. I mean, I could be wrong, but <laughs> I'm completely content with my looks without it, basically. Um, it took me a long time before I actually even started using some additional products like the bronzer and concealer and eyeliner. Like, I didn't used to use these products. I actually started using them a couple of years ago and I've been mastering my looks with them as far as like I can do makeup. Yeah, so pretty much all these items were recommended for me. I told them, hey, I need a concealer. Uh, can you find something that matches my skin tone? And this is the one that they gave me and I've been replacing it ever since and buying new ones. Pretty sure I'm supposed to be using concealer first, aren't I? Well, <laughs> this is what works for me so I mean you do you when it comes to makeup right unless you're an actual beauty guru which clearly I'm not I just figure out my own looks I film some adult content and that's pretty much it <laughs> so whatever works for me is how I go about most of these products like even when I do casual looks I won't go all out like this at all like if anything I'll use a couple shades from my naked palette as well as my cover up a little bit of mascara I'll do my eyebrows and sometimes I'll do some bronzer depending on what the outing is. I'm going to like a dinner or something like that. I might do a little bit more than not. I definitely over plucked my eyebrows <laughs> last time I did them. I'm trying to fill them in a little bit. 
not quite working out. If you're currently trying to figure out like what looks you want to do for your adult entertainment job, honestly, I would say try and stick to your niche. Like Siren Verde, she's all natural. She generally doesn't wear any lips, uh, any makeup at all. Sometimes she'll wear a lipstick for more of a femdom look because that really, really adds to it. Uh, and then sometimes she'll do some shadow when she's doing fendom looks and stuff, but generally like she's very nude, so it really just depends on your look. I generally sell best for the ones that are looking for the girlfriend next door experience, um, cause that's just my niche. So I do generally do my makeup pretty much full like this. Mind you, I generally don't spend that long on my makeup. Like, I can get my full look of makeup done within 30 minutes, my hair straightened, all that jazz. Like, I don't spend an hour doing my makeup. I know a lot of people do. And again, like that might just go with their niche. So it just really depends on what you are going for, what sells you the best. If that means you are gonna be wearing a full look of makeup or uh, just a few items or no makeup at all, like just do you. Not everyone is marketing the same because not everyone falls under the same niche. So don't worry about what everyone else is doing, just figure out what markets the best for who you are. And by that, don't try and change who you are just to fit in a specific niche because you want to be your authentic self as close as possible, I feel, when you're in this industry. It's just the best and you won't have to feel so... It'll be really depressing, honestly. Like, you won't be able to stick with it if you're not going to be truly yourself. So definitely find a niche that fits you the best, who you authentically are, whoever and whatever that may be. I don't always do my bottom mascara, but I have this. It was actually a trial version of this mascara, and I absolutely loved it. I got it for free with some Sephora points, and I really, really like the mascara. this mascara. I used it up completely. I was using Maybelline mascara for the longest time until I got this mascara, which I absolutely love. So because I pretty much used it all up, I now use whatever's left in the bottle to do my lower eyelashes when I feel like it. I don't always do my lower eyelashes. The biggest thing that I hate about doing my lower eyelashes is that when you're constantly doing certain scenes and you like look down a lot if you're doing a POV a specific scene. <laughs> um, you can get your mascara all over your face and that's probably my fault for not wearing um, the makeup spray to hold it in place, but that's my challenge that I deal with a lot anyway. I do have a makeup spray. It's, I believe, the Too Faced makeup spray and it probably was also recommended to me. Either that or I just grabbed it as I saw it. Isn't it funny how when you're doing makeup you always make these weird ass expressions and you have to like be conscientious of the fact that you are making these weird expressions like opening your mouth really wide to do your your mascara. Why why do we do this? Why do we do this to ourselves? People will never know, I feel. It's just what feels right, I guess. Let's stretch our mouths right open while we are doing our mascara just because. <laughs> so sometimes I like to get a little fancy and I will do a little bit of glitter in the corners of my eyes. This used to be much more full. However, I'm a klutz and I spilt it all over the place. But this is what it looks like and you can pretty much get any of these glitter bottles. I got them on Amazon. I got one. Love it so much. And I've also been very highly digging this purple lipstick recently. And that's pretty much all I use, honestly. I don't, I don't have lip liner. I don't have primer all over my face. I don't use a beauty sponge. I'm very bad at applying makeup, as you can see. Shall I need to get in a lot? 
and crack paints. And that was it. So how I get this glitter to stick is I take some men's hair gel and I just work it in my palm because I don't want it to be super, super white on my skin like this. And then I'll just rub it all over wherever I want to put the, the stuff. I'll do both sides just because once once I start picking it up, it kind of just gets everywhere. I mean, it's still pretty pale white, but it's fine. And then I'll just dip my finger in and just apply it. Ooh, hair get out of the way. So, and then I'll use a different finger if I need to like pick up some excess. Sometimes it does happen. And voila, I have some glitter. I have some of these spazzles. <laughs> and then I just straighten my hair, and that's pretty much that's pretty much my look. I usually don't do too crazy differences when I go about my looks. Usually it's either, am I doing gold glitter, am I doing um, pink glitter, am I just going to be doing a casual brown nude looking look, or more of a smoky eye, or sometimes I will do some blue as well. That doesn't happen often because it usually takes a lot out of my time. And sometimes I don't have the most time in the world to be sitting down and just doing my makeup. Because when I do get to my orders, my day of filming, my solos and white girls, it takes a long time. Like I generally have at least about three hours of back-to-back -back filming when I'm doing customs. And I go through them pretty fast. Like, I do one, I finish it, I change, I get into my next outfit, I film that one. I go over the script, I film it. There really generally isn't all that much extra time for me to be... Oh, and I also use spray on these guys. Okay, that was terrible. I don't have hairspray right now, and I don't even know if this actually works. This is actually just tangler spray, so it probably isn't what I'm supposed to be using, but yeah, it's just gonna have to do right now because I'm out of I'm completely out of hairspray right now. So because hairspray is supposed to be what holds your hair in place, so it really really helps to hold the glitter on your face. Generally I find if you're only doing this much, just some men's hair gel should work enough. Um, but some extra spray does help hold it in place. So now I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry my hair a little bit just to make sure it's all completely dry. Although pretty much, it's pretty much completely blow dry at this point. <laughs> My hair is really thin, so it really doesn't take that long to blow dry and straighten. It's both a curse and a good thing because I hate how thin it is because it has no volume. But it is really quick to get it all done up. Unless when you're straightening it, it's very fast. <laughs> So yeah, my look is pretty much complete. 
And I did my nails earlier, so all that's taken care of. My scripts are all ready for me to go. All of my custom items are already out for me to start getting my filming done. So all I have to really do now is clean up this mess and get into my first outfit for my custom videos. I'll see you when I am ready for all of that. We take a look at my makeup look for the day. <laughs> all right, I'll see you as soon as I am ready to start filming. So I am back and I'm currently wearing a pleated skirt, white top, choker necklace, headband, and a watch. I thought that this would be the most accurate representation of the role play that I am going to be filming. So it is basically, I am an artistic sculptor and my neighbor is going to be coming over and he is going to be doing some nude modeling for me. Although I never asked him to do any nude modeling, it just goes there. And yeah, then there's a huge build up from there. So this is my first outfit of choice. And I kind of rearranged my order a little bit from what I originally showed, but this is just how I'm going to flow and film my custom videos for the day. So I'm going to get right into this one. And you can take a look at my lighting setup right now because I'm going to be sitting right over here. Well, I move this for this little video here. <laughs> I'm going to be sitting here, and this is where I'm supposedly sculpting. And I'm going to have my cameraman film me from right here on this stool. And I have my lighting set up right here. My gas light as well as my ring light. Here's my Panasonic. So this one is what I'm filming with for this custom video. And yeah. I'm gonna go and go film this video now. See you for the next one. I am back after filming my first custom video and now I am wearing my second outfit for my second custom video order. As you can see, I've really started pulling items from my custom item space that I've created for myself. I've changed up my lighting because I will now be situated on my bed and I'm going to go get my cameraman and have this filmed right now. So stay tuned for my next outfit change. And I'm back. And my last long video of the day is going to be a boy-girl video. I'm in a red lingerie two-piece outfit right now. And I changed up my look a little bit just for some variation. And this room is starting to get kind of a mess, as you can see, and I had to move the lighting again. See you when I am done this video. And I'm back, and now I am wearing a trench coat with this detective style outfit that I have for a photo set for someone that might also even turn into a custom video order, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, that's pretty much all of the looks that I have for today. My room got pretty messy. I had to move my lighting again so that it was facing my office space. So now I basically have a list of photos that I have to take. I have five photos and they basically di dictate every single pose that I'm supposed to be in and wearing what items, what items are going to stay on, that kind of thing. I've done it. I've officially completed another film day and all my custom video and photo and audio requests are all complete. And now I have a very messy room that I need to clean up, which usually is what I will do next. And then make me some grub because usually at this point I'm really, really hungry and a little dizzy. So I should probably drink some water too. So yeah, I'm gonna get this mess taken care of, clean up, eat something good, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I really hope you enjoy these Cam Girl Guide series style videos, especially my little guides and tutorials on how I go about doing things personally. Um, I really do get very personal of sharing my experiences of how I organize my work schedule and my work life in general. 
So yeah, it really means a lot to me if you guys are finding it helpful at all. And of course, if you enjoy videos like this, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, turning on the notifications down below, and I will always make more videos like this for you guys if you let me know that you are enjoying them. So with that being said, I will see you guys for another video. And since I'm going camping this Saturday, you'll probably see me in a camping vlog next time I'm back. Bye.